It's Art Week this week. I love Art Week. We've been learning about the story of the prodigal son. That's a story that Jesus told us about a father and two sons. This story teaches us about God's love for us. In our story, one of the sons, the younger son, was not very kind to his father. He asked his father to give him his share of his father's money. That was something he would have been given much later when his father died. By asking for it early, it was like he was saying, I wish you weren't around anymore, Dad. I'd rather have your money instead. Wow, I can't imagine saying something like that. Once he had the money, the younger son packed up all his stuff and moved far away from his father. And then he wasted all of that money. Once the son ran out of money, he had a really hard time finding a job. He got a job feeding some pigs, but the job didn't pay well. He was so hungry that the food he was giving the pigs looked good to him. The younger son felt bad about how he had treated his father, and he wanted to go home. He decided he would go back to his father and apologize. He didn't think his father would want him as a son anymore, though. But maybe his father would at least give him a job, and he could work for his father instead. So he headed home. While the son was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. His father was so happy to see him that he ran out to him and threw his arms around him. His father even threw a huge party to celebrate that his son had returned. For our art project today, we are going to make this hugging father. The father in our story was so happy that his son had returned. The father forgave his son and welcomed him back with joy and a party. Jesus told us this story to help us understand God's love for us. Sometimes we mess up. We do things that God has told us not to do. We've all messed up like this. But when we turn back to God, he forgives us and welcomes us back with joy, just like the father in the story. He celebrates that we have come back to him. For this art project, we will need two colors of paper, one for the shirt and one for the hands and the face. You'll also need scissors and crayons or markers, a pencil and some tape. I also use something round to trace to cut out the face. The first thing we're going to do is take the paper that we're going to use for the face and the hands. So I'm going to use this one and we're going to trace our hand on the paper. Try to leave room to do two handprints and the face. So we're just going to take the pencil and go around your hand. Get each finger. Now I'm going to turn the paper and do it again. Okay. And I'm going to take something round. I've got a bowl and I'm going to trace a circle that we can cut out for the face. we go. Now we can take our scissors and cut out both hands and the circle. So now I've got a face and two hands. I'm just going to flip over one of the hands so that I've got both. All right, our next thing we're going to do is take the paper that we're gonna use for the shirt. And I'm gonna use this piece right here. And I'm going to lay out my hands on either side. And I'm going to cut this paper straight across a little bit wider than the wrist of the hand so that it's like sleeves. So I'm gonna cut straight across. Now I'm gonna lay everything out. I've got the shirt, 
I've got the face, and I've got the hands. And I'm gonna turn the hands so that the thumbs are up. Just like if you were hugging somebody, your thumbs would be up. All right, now I'm going to take my tape and I am going to put a piece of tape to hold down each hand. And I'm gonna take the face and tuck it right behind like that. And I'm gonna put a piece of tape to hold the shirt to the back of the face. Then I can flip the whole thing over. And there we go. I'm gonna add a couple more pieces of tape to hold things down. I'm just gonna roll it into a loop and put a piece of tape under the chin. And I'm gonna roll another one and put it to hold the sleeve to the hand. And one more, right over here. Okay, now we can grab our crayons. And remember the father was so happy to see his son. So we need a big smiley face. He was so happy his son had come home. And we need some eyes. And I'm gonna give him some hair. One more thing we need to do. We're going to take and fold the arms in like this, so that it looks like he's giving a hug. <laughs>